we see the finished work and then we judge our work in progress against other people's finished work. So the story that you see and the story that everyone sees is I've lost 50 pounds. But then by the time I went to Tony Robbins in November, I wasn't really losing weight. I wasn't gaining weight, I just wasn't losing weight. 40 degrees outside, felt great, felt like a champ. Took a day yesterday, today I should be running a 10K. What I see is inconsistency after inconsistency after inconsistency or trying and then not trying and then trying and then not trying. Hi, my name's Joe, and I'm here to help you be inspired every single day for you to live your best life in your career, in your business, in the thing you decide you want to do and bring to the world. And this video is designed to give you a strategy to be the best version of you. So let's just head over. I've got a great tip from Mr. Mark Drager. Check this out. And, and this is an important lesson for everyone. The story we judge people by and I think I posted about this the other day, right? We see the finished work. We see the finished work and then we judge our work in progress against other people's finished work. So the story that you see and the story that everyone sees is I've lost 50 pounds. Yes, I was getting heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier and heavier. Um, what I don't really talk about though is when I was 30, I, I took Tim Ferriss's book, For Our Body. I did it consistently for six months with a personal trainer. And at the time I was able to lie, lose, I think 30, 35 pounds. And then my wife and I went off to Ireland uh, and I kind of broke my diet and then I never kind of got back onto it again. So we hit the point where, you know, it's, it's 20, it's February of 2018, I think. And we're not feeling great. And I went, this is enough. I can't do this anymore. I'm going to lose weight. But I had already done that one process before. I just didn't stick with it. And so I kind of already had some ideas and some tools, but this time it felt different. Um, and so I did start working out. And I did lose some weight, but then by June, I kind of slowed down. And then in July and August, I got a little more serious about it. But then by the time I went to Tony Robbins in November, I wasn't really losing weight. I wasn't gaining weight. I just wasn't losing weight. And then after Tony Robbins, uh, I got much more serious about it. And then the following May, Evan challenged me to look at keto because the four-hour body wasn't really working anymore. And then I joined a much more aggressive gym. So it's just like what I see is inconsistency after inconsistency after inconsistency or trying and then not trying and then trying and then not trying. What the world sees is that I was able to lose 50 pounds and keep it off, which, which I have. But even now, like even, even today, I was thinking, oh, I haven't gone for a run since Saturday. Right? Saturday, I ran for a run. It was 40 degrees outside. Felt great. Felt like a champ. Took a day yesterday. Today, I should be running a 10K. It's raining. Probably not going to do it. Um, and that's okay because I know that I'm going to maintain my weight. That's the type of inconsistency that bothers me. And I don't know if I'm looking for superhuman levels of consistency or dedication or whatnot, but, but that's where, yeah, that's where I feel inconsistent. I just love this clip because is there any such thing as an overnight success? Is there a plan to an overnight success? No. This is the thing we get caught up in. We get caught up in... You know, we've got to, we've got to, we've got to do all these things, and if we do all these things, we'll be successful. So the key thing from this interview, and if you want to catch the full interview, just go and look out my channel. It's under the interviews, under the playlist. Go and check it out. The key around this is consistency. But the only time you be consistent is if you love what you do. Love what you do. If you don't, you're going to fall off. And so when Mark talked about consistency in his journey when he lost his 50 pounds right he went up he went down he went up he went down he went up he went down now this video well that interview was about six months ago it was three or six months ago i can't exactly remember but in that time since we've had that discussion he's launched we do half things podcast he's now on clubhouse and actually just went along and joined his fearless friday discussion which starts from 10 a.m Canada time, American time. I joined it about six, no, I'll put it up, just about quarter to seven UK time. And since then he's on a journey. He's on a journey. And now he's doing the chunk to hunk, chunk to hunk challenge, right? So in this in this efforts of being want to be successful, you want to get where you want to be, there are these periods of up and down. Because you're figuring out what you love to do, what you don't love to do, whether you're doing leads you to the end goal. 
you know, because when Mark wanted to lose weight, he, he wanted to lose weight and he got so far and then he dropped back. Got so far, dropped back because he's finding different strategies. Now all the strategies are going to be slightly different for everybody. So there's no such thing as like overnight success, it's the iceberg. So you've got the success, the tip, and then underneath is all the work, all the failure, all the inconsistencies. But the path to get there is going to be very individual to you. Yes, you can take tips from me, you can take tips from Mark, you can take tips from Simon Square, but all the other people that we've interviewed on the Inspiration Nation podcast, if you want to catch the podcast, just the description's in the link. The, the link is in the description below. We've got over 104 episodes, so go and check it out. And Mark is one of those episodes. So if you want to catch the full podcast, just want to listen, you can catch it there. But this is it, right? So Mark's got his different path, um, and I've got my path. And that means you're going to have your path. And the whole path to success, there is no overnight success because there's a lot of failure, there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of tears, there's a lot of falling back off and getting back on. The key to all this is you've got to be consistent with what you, you are doing, but also consistent about what you want to achieve. So Mark, if we take his story, he's got Fanta, um, which is a, a marketing agency, generates leads, uh, does business for people, but he's also got this other part. Now he's now transitioning from Fanta to Mark Drager because he loves creating content. He wants to bring content to the world that helps people become extraordinary, and that's his word. So how does it apply to me? So for me, mine is inspiration. This is why Inspiration Nation exists, that's why the podcast exists, this is why the daily videos exist, that's why I'm on Instagram every single day. And if you want to catch that, the link is in the description below, you can catch a daily video from me every single day. I get up, I record a video, because I want to help someone. I want to be there to serve someone. And what does that give me? It makes me one standpoint with myself to remind myself that even though things are hard, I still continue to push through. So I continue to write the blogs, I continue to post the videos, I continue to record these videos for you. And that's the consistency. It's not about the results. Of course, the results will come as a byproduct if you continue, right? So Mark did his Chunk to Hunk challenge. If he continues to do the fitness, continues to eat properly, he's gonna to get to his six pack abs, right? He's doing it because he wants to do hard things. That's, that's his whole premise. He loves talking to people who are doing hard things, who have done extraordinary things, and so he can learn the lessons that he can pick, and he can pick out those lessons and learn from people's failures and have a little bit of a potential shortcut, right? Um, but you still gotta go through your journey. You can't shortcut your journey. You're gonna to have to still go through just struggle and pain because it's already slightly different for all of us. But that's the key around all this, right? So that's it for me. Um, so for me, it's about getting up. I get up about 4.30 a.m. I do my journaling, I do my meditation. Um, today, uh, well yesterday, this, I've had a really difficult week this week. It's been really full on, difficult, hard doing inspiration nation, have Mark Drager's team because I'm on his team now, so I help his team with comments and stuff like that. So I'm trying to keep all these balls in the air right, super tired. Went on Clubhouse last night and that gave me energy. Went to Fearless Friday, we talked about, had some brilliant speakers in there. Joshua's in there, you've got Bo Hawkins in there. Um, some really influential people in there talking about fantastic in-depth conversations. That's what I love, I love that. I love having a great conversation, but then what are you gonna do afterwards? It's not just about having that great conversation, Success dictates that yes, have the great conversation, but have some measurable actions. You have to have some actions on the back of it. So what are my actions? My actions are doing these videos every week, are doing the Instagram posts, um, are doing the blog, um, being consistent around that, make sure I get up early, get my routines in, and all this is stacking up. It's called stacking the wins, right? All the micro actions, right? And some people tell me, hey Joe, get up at 4.30 a.m., that's a bit crazy. Yes, it's crazy for them, but it's not crazy for me because I know when I'm starting my day, you know, I want to be in that energy state where I can deliver to you. So today, it got a bit later, but I still followed my routine. It was cut down a little bit, but I can still deliver energy to you, right? So I'm going through the week. I usually get up at 4.30, but as I say, I started in Clubhouse and I want to listen to that conversation and I've got lots of good information. That's going to assimilate to me and I hope this assimilates to you, right? So the whole point of this is, the whole point of success and if we drill it down into one big lesson for all of this is that you've got to be consistent. I see so many great conversations, so many good conversations, and they say, well, we're, we're gonna do, you know, we've got this crowd, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, but there's no solid action. So, this is what I want for you to take away from this video. You need to have a solid action. We can have a great conversation, right? You might have loved this video, but it's no good if you don't take action. So let's wrap it up. So how 
Are you going to be consistent? That's the one thing I'm going to do, leave with you today. How can you be consistent? Think about Mark, what he said. Think about what I put in this video, right? There's no such thing as an overnight success. It's your journey. So what is your journey? What's the big vision for your life? What do you want to do? It's all out there. It's all up for grabs. It's just whether you are prepared to commit, whether you are prepared to put in the energy. So what's your biggest takeaway from this video? And what are you going to do about it? Because in Inspiration Nation, we have to set an action and we have to put a date on that action for you to follow through. So I want you to put the date and I want you to put the action of when you're going to do it in the comments below so you can get to your next level and be successful. Let's go. I hope you enjoyed that video. As you know, here is Inspiration Nation. Uh, we have some coaching services that you can tap into. So you can just head over to inspirationnation.org.uk. We have two options. Um, and I won't explain those, so I've done those before, but the link is in the description below. Just sign up, fill in the form. We will be in contact with you. I hope you enjoyed all the content today. So don't forget, you can catch all my other videos right over here. And you can get inspired by those. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell tells you when another video goes live. So don't forget, you're watching Inspiration Nation and I'll see you over there.